Still for starting here. It's time for another episode of my car vlog show. And today we start talking about things two. Things two. You know the GTD software, getting things done. You know. I have for many many years doing GTD, getting things done, and I've used a lot of different systems and uh, software and uh, you name it. But I've always going back to my own system made in Gmail with labels and so on. Uh, GTD, you, you do next action, action, uh, some uh, someday maybe, projects and so on. and. Uh, that has worked perfectly fine, my own system in Gmail with that, because a lot of things that I should do, I get on email. I get that by email, and uh, things I write myself that I should do, I emailed myself to Gmail. It works great. Two Three years ago, I bought things for uh, my iPhone and my Mac. And uh, later on, I bought it also for the iPad. So, I must say, things is quite expensive because you need to buy it for all your devices. Really expensive then. Too bad it could not be universal, at least for iPhone and iPad. But it isn't, at least not when I bought them. And then I started using things instead of my email system for a while. But uh, it was a it was a lot of hassle and so on because uh, the apps didn't sync with each other. You need to use uh, Bonjour syncing and. Uh, have all the apps on at the same time and so on. Very, very bad user experience. So I stopped using things because of uh, you couldn't sync your to-do lists, your GTD. This weekend, um, things 2, version 2.0 got released and uh, for both iPhone, iPad and Mac. So I installed them, the latest version, and it now has cloud syncing called Things Cloud. And it works really, 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 really great. Everything syncs exactly as I want it to be synced, really great and almost instant between the apps, between the devices. I must say that the only drawback I have seen that is uh, the push notifications, or let me say, the notification badge on the icon on my iPhone doesn't update until I start the app or open the app. All the to-dos are uh, synced, but the icon doesn't update, so I can't see that I have new to-dos to do, for example. That's a drawback, but it's a lot better than before, because now everything syncs automatically between the devices. Really great. And another thing that was new in Things 2 was... Um, daily review for example if you have added some to do's that you would like to do in a specific date later on in time and uh, that was quite a long time you wrote those to do so when that day come your uh, today list gets filled with all uh, things you should do that day but things can change because 
you maybe don't need to do those things that day anymore, for example. Something has solved itself or other things have uh, shown up that fix that or something. Then um, you don't need to do that that day anymore. So daily review is that you every day go through a list on that specific day and uh, in a very easy and great way you choose which one you want to do this day and which one you want to do later really easy and a very great way working like that so you get a list every day with things you should do but you can easy very easily choose which one you want to do that day it's hard to explain it's much better to to um, test it for yourself and uh, see it's a really great way to do it another drawback by using things instead of my own system is that I have no way to add to do's or uh, check them done on my work machine at work because that is on Windows and, and things only work on Macs and uh, iPhones and iPads. That's too bad. I will see how I will solve that. You can't email your things to things. That's also a drawback and uh, maybe I can uh, use an Evernote things combination somehow. I can uh, add all the to-dos in Evernote in a list or something and uh, add them uh, when I'm home again from my Mac or I can add them from Evernote on my iPhone too but it's easier to uh, add them from a Mac that's one risk that's one uh, solution to it but we will see I will try to use things instead of my own Gmail system and uh, combine with Evernote uh, for a while and see if it's better for me or if I have do as I always have done going back to my own system in Gmail. I have always done that and uh, when you are doing GTD, getting things done, you should always use that fits you best, that works best for you. GTD should never be a hassle, it should never be something you don't like to do because it should help you. So. Your system, the, the way you're doing it should always be easy and fun. Otherwise you can quit doing GTD. So I'm soon at my works. We have to quit this first part of this car vlog show. Uh, we will see how it will be when I'm traveling home again. Because I have a lot of uh, to-dos to do this week. Because my new Mercedes will come this week and I must do a, a lot of things with my old car so after my work so we will see how much time I have to do car vlogs when I'm driving home this week okay I'm back from work so we continue this episode of the car vlog show this morning we talked about things too, the GTT app, getting things done. Uh, now I want to talk about another app and that's Reader. I know it's an old app so nothing new there. But I have many times said that I don't use RSS feeds or RSS readers anymore because they are old 
and slow. And I think the modern way of doing stuff now is um, using Twitter as a new source. And I've done that for uh, a couple of years now. I don't use RSS readers, but um, I've used Twitter as a new source in apps like Flipboard, Tweetbot, Site, and so on. And uh, it has it, ha it has worked really great. Uh, but I use my 11-inch MacBook Air all the time. It's my iPad. I use it as like an iPad. I have it with me everywhere. I use it everywhere because it's so great, so powerful and so on. So my hunt for a Flipboard-like app for OS X has not been successful because there is no good Flipboard-like app for OS X on Mac. Yes, Pulse, Pulse is available for Mac now but it's no good and doesn't use Twitter as a new source. So I don't like it. And um, it also is um, mostly made for um, Internet Explorer 10 and uh, Windows 8. So no good for me. <coughs> then uh, I have tried some other apps like that uh, uses news in the same way as Flipboard, but I don't like them. They are no good on, uh, on the desktop. So I have decided to go back to my old time favorite when it comes to RSS readers and RSS. And it's called Reader. And uh, that app is incredibly good, only available for uh, Mac iPhone and iPad and uh, I bought it for all three devices a long time ago very long time ago so I already have them uh, so I decided to go back to that and try Reader on my Mac so I decided to use Reader on my iPhone too because I want what I read and find in sync with each other <coughs> and by doing that I decided to go through all my 700 RSS feeds in uh, Google Reader and only keep those that give me something uh, in all those topics I want to have news from so I only keep those RSS feeds that have a full feed so I can read the post directly in Reader I don't have to click through to read the full post. So I don't care about sites that doesn't have a full feed. I skip them. And I keep only those that can give me some news fast and reliable about the topics I like. Topics I like. So I've gone from 700 feeds to around 140 feet and uh, reader updates syncs uh, every five minutes and uh, if I want to sync faster I just hit the sync button in the app so it's not real time as Twitter is but uh, it's quite fast anyway and I have also the setting that Reader should only sync the latest day of posts but because I don't care about old news. I want new, fresh and cool news, exactly as Twitter are doing it. So Reader only syncs the last day of posts for me. So I only see the fresh and cool news from the last day. I don't care about the rest. So by doing this I have an excellent app on my Mac and an excellent app on my iPhone and iPad too. All in sync and uh, with a lot of cool features like readability support to format the post uh, 
incredible, beautiful when reading in the app, directly, automatically, and instant formatted. Really cool, looks really great. It also have a buffer support. I use buffer a lot nowadays because I want uh, my followers to to read my post when they are awake and not when they are asleep. So a lot of my users, a lot of my followers are from the US, so I need to use a, a service like Buffer. And Reader supports Buffer and that's really great for me because it's very easy to add post now to Buffer through Reader. Really great. And uh, a lot of other cool stuff like on gestures to swipe left and right for uh, going to next post and so on. A lot of gestures. That's great. So my decision to go back to old time RSS feeds and RSS reader um, is quite success successful. I like it uh, actually. I think it works kind of great to find the latest news. Um, the only thing I don't like is that how should I keep me updated on Twitter now then? I was a heavy retweeter, for example, so my a lot of users will miss my retweets I did. I, I, I retweeted a lot of tweets before and um, not anymore as much, so I don't know really how to do that, how to follow news on Twitter and in Reader. Can't see a solution for that actually. So we will see what to do. But I need to stop now because I should um, see if I get my wheels to this car uh, because I will sell it because my new Mercedes Benz is on its way. So I will sell this car. So I need to get my wheels so let's see if I continue after this but I need to stop at the moment so bye for now okay so I'm back now again I didn't get my wheels to the car today because they will pick them up for me until tomorrow so I will drive here tomorrow again. So now I will wash my car instead so we can talk a little bit. And as I said um, last week, this week will be quite hectic for me because I have a lot of things to do because my new Mercedes Benz is on its way and I need to fix this car uh, so it, I have a lot of things to do after my work so not much time to do these car vlogs actually so I hope you understand that I will try a hand washing place that uh, washes my car for hand uh, and also inside of the car. I don't know how that will end, but I will check. Let's see, where is it? Don't recall where. Is it here or what? No, not here. Where is it then?
Okay, bye. Okay, so they didn't have any time to wash my car today. They say I should come back tomorrow. I don't know if I will do that then. I don't know. Maybe I should all just wash it and clean it inside myself. Now I will drive to an automatic car washer instead that cleans my car on the outside and uh, let's see if there is no huge line there because I don't like to sit and wait and wait and wait. So hopefully there is no line. So it's my turn directly. I hate these car things. I don't like to do car works. It just takes time from my Days. I have better things to do than doing all these car things. Hopefully my new car is here soon so I can relax again. A lot of traffic now because everyone is driving home from work at the same time. Rush hour. this please this is no fun no fun no fun no 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 fun no fun no fun no 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 fun Please. Like okay, I need to go out of my, of my car now. So now I'm at the car wash machine. And uh, should uh, Type a code now. So now we should wash the car automatically. like this and the handbrake now we wait it will uh, sound a lot when it starts to wash the car but we can talk a bit about it um, I don't know what to do if I should uh, clean the car inside too I don't know because this car is already sold so I don't need to clean it, I guess. Um, but uh, I always get a bit that I think you should clean your car before you uh, deliver it. I think so, at least. So now I do a clean outside of the car in the car washing machine and uh, maybe I should clean the car 
inside manually by myself. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, it's a bit uh, about um, a lot of sand and uh, small stones and so on the floor from this winter and uh, very dusty inside and so on. Really dusty. But as I said, the car is already sold and uh, my new car, when it comes this week, hopefully, uh, is um, factory new. So I already bought it. So I don't know what to do. Can you hear it now? My car gets clean. Maybe I should show you how. Terrible noise, don't you think? Now it comes back soon again. You maybe see that in the back car window. Now at least my car gets clean on the outside. Terrible noise. So, now I think the dryer will come, but dries the car, I hope so, but no, I think more, uh, I think more, um, shampoo and stuff now probably the dryer comes and yes here is the dryer There comes the dryer. It's like a hair dryer, a big hair dryer for cars. I guess I should just clean it myself inside. Why pay for it? It's already sold. I don't need to pay for it.
No need. Now the dryer comes back and I guess it's finished after that so we will drive out from here again I guess the safety belt on again yes it's finished now so that was it now we drive home. Like this and off we go. I think I should drive this way home so the car can dry up a bit. go to the highway to dry the car up a bit.